us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of our fathers, acknowledging the great need I have of you, of your divine wisdom, I come before you today to beg this grace of you with all possible earnestness and greatest humility. Send us, O Lord, the wisdom which sits by your throne uh, to strengthen our weakness, to enlighten our minds, to inflame our hearts, to speak and act, to work and suffer in, in union with you, to direct our footsteps, and to fill our souls with your virtues of Jesus Christ and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. For only wisdom can bring us these gifts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today we are going to discuss chapter 10 of page 222 of our book. So last time, we discussed the first sacrament. No, Again, what? how many sacraments that we have? Okay, how many sacraments? There are seven sacraments. Very good, Mr. Vince. There are seven sacraments we have in the church. The first sacrament we had discussed last time was, what sacrament again? The sacrament of? Yes, Mr. Mihia, sacrament of baptism. Okay, so we discussed last time about the sacrament of baptism, the meaning of the sacrament of baptism, its effect, okay, and our mission as baptized uh, Catholic. So, we are baptized, and in our baptism, we have received, those who can open their camera, open their camera. In baptism, we have received the grace of faith. Okay, the grace of faith. Yung grasya ng pananampalataya. Okay. Yung, that grace of faith uh, moved us to be members, to be members of one church, to be members of the body of Christ, the church. That's why we are called baptized Catholics. Now, uh, we are not just members of one body of Christ. The reason why we are members of one body of Christ because we were forgiven from our, our original sin. The sin which we I know, we just inherited from our first parents. And who were our first parents? Again, uh, written in the book of Genesis, who were the first parents? Who were the first parents? Adam and Eve. Okay. Si Adam at si Eva. Okay. So, now, we go now to the sacrament which strengthens our the grace we have received in baptism. Okay. The sacrament that uh, gives us uh, strength okay, to resist temptation. And this is the sacrament of confirmation. Sino sa inyo ang nakumpilan na? Of course, lahat kayo rito na nag-aral na rito sa Catholic school since, since time immemorial. <laughs> Since since grade 6, maybe, you have already received the sacrament of confirmation. Sacramento ng kumpil. If I'm not mistaken, last last year, we had our we had the conduct of the sacrament of confirmation in the parish church. Before I came, during the time of Sir Arsen, you had your yearly confirmation. If I'm not mistaken, it was Father uh, Bishop Most Reverend Elmer who administer the sacrament of confirmation, yung majority sa inyo. Okay. Now, what is the sacrament of confirmation? From the word itself, from the term itself, confirmation, we can, we could, uh, we can easily understand what is the sacrament all about. Okay. So, from the term confirmation, that what is the word, root word of confirmation? Ariadna, what's the root word of confirmation? Of the word confirmation? Another deeper than that. Firm, right? Firm. Okay, so um, you see, the sacrament of confirmation is about confirming. Okay, tungkol ito sa pagkukumpil. Sa Tagalog, ito ay sakramento ng kumpil. To understand more about the sacrament of confirmation, let us define it very uh, vividly here in page 224. Okay. Kindly read, Miss Perez, page 224, the first paragraph. 
the first paragraph. Okay, so what is the sacrament of confirmation? It is given after the sacrament of baptism. It is dispensed by the church, given by the church, okay, to increase the grace received in baptism. When we were infants, of course, usually we are baptized, we were baptized uh, uh, when we were infants. No? Nung tayo ay isang gulpa tayo na binyagan. Okay, during our infancy, we received the sacrament of baptism Such I have told you a while ago, we received the sacrament of or the grace of faith. Now we cannot stood alone at that time because we are we were just infants. Okay, we cannot justify, we cannot defend, we cannot live out the faith because we were just infants when we were baptized. Okay, now, merong sacrament of confirmation, merong sacrament sacramento ng kumpil para dagdagan yung grasya ng Dios na natanggap natin sa sakramento ng bautismo o binyag. Okay. Yung grasya na idadagdag ng Diyos, sabi rito, yun yung tinatawag nating spiritual strength. Ano yung spiritual strength? Ito yung mga grasya na ibibigay sa atin ng Diyos upang mapaglabanan natin ang iba't ibang atake at tukso ng mundo. Okay. Kaya nga, kung makaalala ninyo, nung kayo nabing na kumpilan, kay iginawad sa inyo ang sakramento ng kumpil nung kayo ay may isip na. Alam nyo na ang tama at mali. Okay. Iginawad sa inyo ang sakramento ng kumpil nung kayo ay uh, may isip na. You know to, uh, you know how to separate the meaning, the, uh, you know how to separate evil from good. Okay. Alam nyo na yung dapat ninyong gawin. Mga binata at dalaga na kayo nung nakumpilan kayo. Okay, kaya ibinibigay ang sakramento ng kumpil sa kanyang edad upang yung grasya na meron kayo sa pananampalataya ninyo sa binyag madagdagan at mapaglabanan. Sabi nga dito kanina, mapaglabanan natin yung lahat ng mga pagsubok at mga pasakit na pwedeng ibigay sa atin ng mundo. Okay, so it's it is a spiritual strength, a grace and it is called spiritual strength. Kaya nga kapag tayo ay Uh, nag-aaral o kaya pag sa pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay natin pag nagdidesisyon tayo pag mas pinipili natin yung mabuti yung ikabubuti ng pagkatao natin ikabubuti natin ikabubuti ng sarili natin kapag tayo ay nadadala sa mga alanganing sitwasyon ng buhay limbawa sa problema at pinipili nating magmanampalataya sa Diyos maniwala sa Diyos makinig sa sinasabi ng simbahan ay yun yung bunga ng grasya na natanggap mo sa sakramento ng kumpil. Kapag gumagawa ka ng tama, okay? Kapag gumagawa ka ng mabuti, those are the fruits you have received in the sacrament of confirmation. Kabalik tara naman noon, kapag hindi ka gumagawa ng mabuti, kapag hindi ka gumagawa ng tama at mas pinipili mo yung easy way, tawag natin easy way, ang demonyo kasi pro easy way ang binibigay niya sa atin eh. Mas pinipili natin yung instant hindi natin isinasabuhay yung sacrament of confirmation. That means we are not living out this spiritual strength we have received in the sacrament of confirmation. Okay. Now, sabi niya rito sa Catechism of the Council of Trent, page 209, I will read. Sabi niya, For those who have been made Christians by baptism, follow after me, okay, is still have in some sort the tenderness and softness as it were a newborn infants and afterwards become by means of the sacrament of confirmation or chrism is stronger to resist all the assaults of the world the flesh and the devil while their minds, minds are fully confirmed in faith to confess and glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ it, it also increases divine grace so the, the catechism of the council of Trent is very clear with regards to sacrament of confirmation we have spiritual strength no 
we will receive strength from God, divine strength, that could resist the assault of the world, the flesh, and the devil. What do you mean by the world? By fame, by power, by richness, etc. Flesh, by sexual impurities, okay, yung mga bagay na sexual, okay, and the devil. Lahat ng mga makademonyong gawain. It will, this spiritual strength in the sacrament of confirmation will, heal, will help us resist okay, those temptations that the devil is offering us. Do, don't forget, as I have told you when you were grade 8, when you, when you were still grade 8 students, I told you that the devil is very much powerful in this world. Okay? He, he has all means of temptation. He has all means. Okay, all means. By all means, He will tempt you. He is at your left side. Okay, whispering to you what, what the devil wants you to do. Okay, the devil wants you to what? To do evil acts then. You will do it if you are not living out your spiritual strength. So, how can we live out our spiritual strength? Of course, by strengthening our faith in God, which we have received in the sacrament of baptism. Okay, when we speak of faith, it's a, when we define faith, faith is acknowledging who God is and believing and trusting yourself to God. Okay? Faith is not just acknowledging, believing, but also living out what you have believed or what you are believing. Faith is not just doing what you are believing. Faith is also celebrating what you are believing and doing. As I have told you last last grading uh, le- le- your grade level grade A there are three dimensions of faith tinagaran natin yon do believing doing and celebrating or worshiping okay we believe therefore we live we live therefore we celebrate we cel- we celebrate or we worship okay now in the sacrament of confirmation according to CCC 1880-1285 the baptized are more perfectly bound to the church are and are enriched with the spiritual strength of the Holy Spirit. Okay, meron yung spiritual strength na tinutukoy ko sa inyo kanina ay yun yung grasya ng Espiritu Santo. Sino ulit ang Espiritu Santo? Ha? Sino ang Espiritu Santo? Miss Gabriel Jamie. Who is the Holy Spirit? Paka-confuse pa kayo ha? Ah, Jamie Gabriel. Who is the Holy Spirit? Kruk 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 na naman kayo diyan, ha? Mm, sige. Who is the Holy Spirit? Win Charles, the Father is the Father, the Holy are, are the Holy Spirit and the Father the same? Miss Perez, what do you think? Thank you, sir. No. no, Vince sabi ni Vince the Holy Spirit is the force of God no Vince that is the teachings of the Jehovah's Witnesses they tell us that the Holy Spirit is the force of God no the Holy Spirit is the person of the blessed Trinity the Holy Spirit is God He is a person He is not just a force He is not just an attribute, anako, ha? Ah, tandaan nyo yun, ah, mga, mga kapatid. Ang Espiritu Santo is equal with the Father and the Son. If the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, but there are three, uh, but there are there is only one God, okay? In three divine, co-equal persons. Sa Tagalog, kung ang Ama ay Diyos, ang anak si Kristo ay Diyos, ang Espiritu Santo ay Diyos, ngunit hindi tatlo ang Diyos. Bagkos iisa ang Diyos, tatlo lamang tatlo ang kanyang persona. Okay. So, ikokorek natin yung sinabi ni Vince para matuto tayong lahat. Ang Espiritu Santo ay hindi fuerza ng Diyos. Okay. Hindi yan kapangyarihan ng Diyos, bagkos Diyos siya. Okay. Diyos. Okay. So, ngayon, yung Diyos Espiritu Santo na yan, persona, ibinibigyan tayo ng, ng kalakasang espiritual upang mapaglabanan natin ang tukso 
ng dumo, demonyo o tukso ng mundo na siyang meron sa mundong kinabibilangan natin. Okay. So, we go to page lesson 13, page 226. What are the effects? Ito yung spiritual strength na tinutukoy ko sa inyo. Okay? Ito yung spiritual strength na sinasabi ko sa inyo. What are the effects of this of the in the in the reception of the sacrament of confirmation? Can you read Mr. Mortera number 1 page 226? Mr. Mortera page 226. Okay. Okay, so thank you. Okay, Matthew chapter 11 verse 5. So, the first one, we are witnesses to the kingdom of God and God's power. So, whenever we are seen by others, we are we confirm baptized Catholics. They can see in us and through us, in and through us what the kingdom of God is and how the power of God Uh, is being uh, live out by us. Okay, so, makikita sa atin yung kapangyarihan ng Diyos at nakikita sa atin yung, yung, yung paghahari ng Diyos. Ano ibig natin sabihin sa paghahari at kapangyarihan ng Diyos? Yung mabuting balita. Kapag sinabi natin paghahari ng Diyos, kapangyarihan ng Diyos, pinakita yan sa atin ni Kristo. At ang tawag natin doon sa ipinakita ni Kristo sa atin, yung pagpapagaling sa may sakit, pagbibigay ng 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 uh, buhay sa mga namatay. Okay? Pagpapalakad sa mga pilay, pagkakaroon ng mata, <laughs> pagkakaroon ng mata, pagkakaroon ng paningin sa mga bulag, ng mga bulag. Ano pa? Pagkakaroon ng amoy sa mga white may covid. Okay. Yung mga 'yan, ang tawag natin good news. Okay, sa kabila sa kabilang banda ang tawag diyan gospel. Okay. Ngayon, ang ibig mong sabihin, na isa sa buhay ba natin yung ebanghelyo? no yung gospel okay sa mga tao ganun yung una yung unang dahilan unang epekto ng kumpil pangalawang epekto pagibasa mo nga Rimzy okay so we are witnesses to Jesus the Christ so if we are witnesses of Jesus we are called Christians because because we are witnesses okay Now, if we are called Christians, therefore, we are to imitate the likeness of Christ when He came down from heaven. And what is the likeness of Christ? Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 to 5. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves. Okay, this this is the this is very this is. Uh, very evident when Christ came okay he humbled himself okay he humbled he humbled himself and uh, he has shown to us the meaning the true meaning of humility okay so if we are witnesses of Christ therefore tanggal-tanggalin natin minsan yung pride di ba minsan tayo mga lalo kayo mga kabataan ayo tanggapin yung pagkakamali minsan ma pride tayo kasi akala natin, tayo yung tama. Ako yung tama. Ako yung tama. Ako yung tama. Kesa ikaw. Minsan, tanggalin natin yun. Minsan, we learn to accept our errors. We learn to accept our our weaknesses. Kahapon, uh, may share ako sa inyo. Hindi nagkaklase na ako. Ano? Tapos, hindi ko alam. Meron palang announcement sa school na mayroon kaming kailangan ipasang requirements. So, nabigla ako at Uh, a human as I am, I I got very ano uh, disappointed and angry at the same time because I could have done those things na beforehand, no? But uh, I was succumb by my anger. I was succumb by my by this uh, uh, temptation of the devil, no? But at the end of the day, I realized no, no, we must not be angry. Okay, so. Uh, I acknowledge my sinfulness. I acknowledge that I was wrong. This this flaw that I I have done, and I I told to myself that uh, I be I should be more patient, no, in dealing with those different situations, in dealing with those matters. 
because that's why I am called as a teacher. We are called by God as teachers. The first and the very first thing that the teacher should have is this what we call patience. Okay, patience in dealing with those paper requirements and other requirements that are needed in our in this uh, field of work. No, so so we are actually following the 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 pattern of Christ. Sino ka ba? Anong ginagawa mo? What uh, specific uh, grace are you following? Are you living out in the in connection with Christ as our master? Okay? Uh, pag nagkamali ka ba, tinatanggap mo ba yung pagkakamali mo? Baka naman, pag nagkamali ka, eh, sabi ko nga kanina, hindi mo tinatanggap. Ano? O kaya eh, pag, pag meron kang nagawang mali, mali itina, ikinukubli mo, itinatago mo, ayaw mong sabihin yung totoo. Napakaganda na Uh, we are humble enough to accept uh, flaws in life because flaws in this world is inevitable, are inevitable, I should say. Flaws are inevitable. Hindi may iiwasan. Meron, meron niya. Pero God is ready to accept us because of this humility that we are living out and in acknowledging our errors in life. Number three, kindly read. Mr. Patayan, Vincent. Vincent, patayan, number three. Ay, po, madali na ako na nga. Witnesses to, to the freedom from the slavery of sin brought by God's presence through Christ and the Spirit. So, hindi lang tayo saksi ng, ng kababaang loob ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, bagos, saksi tayo sa paggamit natin ng kalayaan. Alam niyo yung kalayaang tinatamasa natin ngayon? Ayan ay kalayaan na nanggagaling sa Diyos sapagkat inukbar. Ano yung inukbar? Uh, uh, inantay. Christ an inan inantay ni Kristo. Ano ba inukbar? Uh, kinalag ni Kristo yung, yung pagkakaalipin natin sa kasalanan nung siya ay namatay sa Santa Cruz, sa Banal na Cruz. Okay. Nung namatay si Kristo, kinalag niya ang ating pagkakaalipin sa kasalanan hindi na tayo blind obedient, hindi tayo sunod-sunuran sa kasalanan, pinalaya tayo ng Diyos at minigyan tayo ng, ng banal na kalayaan upang piliin ang Diyos at piliin ang tama. Pag-aaralan nyo yun, pag-grade din kayo, pag-teacher nyo pa ako. Freedom, conscience, intellect, will. Ganyan, pag-aaralan nyo yung mga yan. Okay. So, ano ibig natin sabihin sa number three? Babalik ka pa ba sa kasalanan? babalik ka pa ba sa pagkakaalipin? Ikaw, Miss Ariad, na babalik ka pa sa... Gusto mo bang bumalik sa panahon ng Japanese regime? Gusto mo bang mag- bumalik yung mga Japanese dito at i- ibalik nila yung cruelty na ginawa sa atin? No. Di ba? Papatayin yung mga bata, ibabayoneta nila yung mga sanggol, riripin nila yung mga dalaga, mga dalaga, papatayin yung mga tatay, kapag ayaw maging sundalo, papainumin ng maraming tubig at pag punong-puno na yung tiyan ng tubig, Uh, tuman, patatapakan yung yung chan, papatayin yung mga isanggol, mga pari, uh, pinubugutan ng ulo, mga mal- ayun ko na magpari pag ganun. <laughs> Joke lang, okay? So, you see, parang ganun. Bakit ka pa babalik sa masalimut na kasaysayan ng buhay mo kung pinalaya ka na ng Diyos sa sa kasalimutan ng buhay na yan? Bakit ka pa babalik dun sa dilim? Kaya ito yung pang- pangatlo, no? Pangatlo. Ibig sabihin, mamumuhay na tayong banal. Ang linis mo naman, sir, para sabihin yan. Well, dapat ganun yung buhay natin. Mamumuhay tayong banal. Although nagkakasala tayo. No? Pero mamumuhay tayo. We, are, we strive to be holy because that is our divine calling. Number four, witness to the love of God. Okay, so do you love? Nagmamahal ka ba? Altea, Fay, Altea Fay de la Cruz, nagmamahal ka ba? May, sinong sinong mahal mo? Isa-isahin mo. Ah, pamilya, ano pa? Sino pa? Sino pang mahal mo? Si God, sino pa? Mga kaibigan, sino pa? Sigurado ka? Hindi ka nagsisinungaling? Ha? Wala kang ano? 
uh, special special someone wala kang special someone or special something <laughs> okay. meron? ah uh, okay so lahat tayo merong lahat tayo nagmamahal at lahat tayo minamahal we love and we are loved okay we are we love we are loving and we are uh, we love and we are love nagmamahal tayo at tayo din naman ay minamahal ngayon ito yung tawag sa atin divine calling yan to love kahit sinong tao may pag-ibig diyan sa puso kahit yung pinaka masungit na tao kahit si yung pinaka masamang tao may natitirang kayo sa kaibuturan ng kanyang puso na pag-ibig sa pagkatayo ginawa ng Diyos sa pag-ibig okay nung nung nag, nag kinasal yung mga magulang ninyo ginawa na, 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 na nagkaroon kayo naging kayo naging Ariad na naging naging Nicole naging Manuel because of love okay because of love wala yan sa ibang ibang dahilan only because of love so we are called to love number five, witness to Christ's real presence in the Christian community the people of people of God the church so tayo yung mga saksi ni saksi para makita ng ibang tao sa atin si Kristo. Nakikita ba sa atin si Kristo? Baka naman baka naman yung may sunga yung nakikita sa inyo. Okay? Nakikita ba natin sa sarili natin si Kristo? At nakikita ba natin nakikita na ba ng ibang tao sa atin si Kristo? Okay, yung kanyang presence, yung kanyang real presence, minsan po sabi ni Yuri, minsan hindi. Okay? Kasi hindi pa ako lumalabas, sabi mo. No, that's not. I am not speaking literally, no? I I uh, I what I am telling is that whenever you do something, whenever you think, whenever you 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 perform acts, okay, these are actually mirrors of who Christ is. These are uh, these mirrors, this mirror of who Christ is. Okay? Okay, so dapat pinapakita nung kung sino si Kristo sa iyo, sa atin. Tan- Pag kapag hindi nyo ginagawa ngayon, magsimula na kayo. Kasi 14 years old na kayo, 15 years old na kayo. Tumatanda na kayo. Alam mo, napakasalimuot at napakahirap kung wala kang Diyos na kinikilala sa buhay mo. Kaya yung mga atheists, they are just pretending. In my opinion, they just pretend that uh, they are happy. They just pretend that they are they are fulfilled. They just pretend that they are they, they have succeeded a lot of things. No, they just pretend. And pretension is difficult. If you are if you are pretentious, that is difficult because you have not you are not showing what is true. Okay, you 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 keep on pretending, you keep on hiding. Okay? And you are afraid to express yourself because you are pretentious. Okay? Now, we can only be free if we believe in God. And if we show ourselves that there is, show to other people that there is God. Now, aside from effects, okay, lesson 14, there are qualities of Christian. May kalidad pala ang pagiging Kristiyano, no? Okay, may quality pala ang pagiging Kristiyano, no? So, pag sinabi natin quality, ano yung mga kailangan ng isang isang tao para tawagin siyang Kristiyano? Abigail Season, kindly read page 229, number 1. Abigail Season. Bakit hindi sumasagot itong mga to? Ano lang, kanyan, kanyan lang yan. Bakit hindi sumasagot ang bata sa online class? Una, tulog. Pangalawa, wala sila, wala sila sa kasalukuyan. Pangatlo, mahinang signal. So, mamili kayo doon. Ganun lang yan. Uh, Arabella season go page number number one page 229 kaya Arabella nga uh, Arabella season ay ikaw sabi <laughs> sige <laughs> kasi Arabella yung nagsasalita eh. oh, sige Arabella sige Abigail okay that's number one quality Baka wala kayong kaalam-alam tungkol kay Kristo. Tatlong taon na kayo nag-aaral sa St. Vincent's Catholic School of Bayambang, Incorporated. Pero ni isang hibla ng kaalaman tungkol kay Kristo at wala kayo. Naku, delegado yan. 
dapat meron at meron kayong kaalaman. Okay? Yung kaalaman natin kay Kristo, ang kanyang our personal knowledge, awareness, and experience of Christ. We should have all those things in our life. Number two, page 230. Kindly read, uh, Chantel, where is Chantel Aldea? Chantel. Okay, ano ibig sabihin yan, Miss Chantel? A basic grounding in scripture, church teaching, and fundamental human experience. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin yan? Kailangan bilang isang kristyano, basic sa'yo ang Biblia. Alam mo kung ano ibig sabihin ng Biblia. Alam mo ang basahin ng Biblia. Alam mo ang mga turo ng simbahan. Okay? Problema sa ating mga katoliko minsan, kaya tayo madaling mahikayat ng iba ibang sekta sa hindi natin alam ang pananampalataya natin okay may magsasabi sa yung sumasamba ka sa idola sa libulto ay oo sumasamba ako sabi mo agad kasi nabasa niya sa Biblia okay Naninyo, sumasamba ka kay Maria bilang Diyos ay oo sumasamba ako kasi pinupuyok ko siya kasi hinahawakan ko siya yan ang problema sa atin we cannot defend our faith daw As Christians, one of our qualities is to be grounded in our faith, especially in the scripture, in the church teaching, and, and also in the fundamental human experiences. If we are less experienced, if we have if we have less experience, less din talaga ang response natin, no? Sa mga bagay-bagay na yan. Number three, can you read Miss Placido Crisha? Placido Crisha. Okay, so there is this enthusiastic Christian conviction. Are you convicted? Convicted. <laughs> Are you enthusiastic as Christians? Are you zealous in living out your faith? Are you active and committed in Christ and the church? Okay, clear na ba sa inyo? Ito ang tanong ko sa inyo. Clear ba sa inyo? Okay, may tanong ko sa inyo. Sagutin nyo, ah. Uh, is it uh, is it sufficient to to believe that I you just believe in God and you do not you do not believe in the church? Who can answer me? Is it sufficient to believe that you just believe in God but you do not believe in the church? You don't have to be belong to a church. Who can answer me? Who can answer me? I'll be giving five points plus for the exam. If you can answer me specifically and correctly and vividly. No? No, no one can answer me? Tama ba na maniniwala ka lang sa Diyos at hindi ka na maniniwala sa simbahan, Miss Garbin? Miss Garbin, Aris? Wala, 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 wala. Sino makakasagot? Limang puntos. Magbibilang ako. One. Two. Uh, yes. Perez. Why? Very good. Okay. So we can just believe in the Lord but not in the church. Oh, 3.5 points. <laughs> 3.5. Sige. 4 points na. Para ano? 4 points. Tandaan mo yun ha, Miss Perez ha. 4 points. May 4 points ka. Sabi ni Vince Flores, mali po dapat maniwala tayo. Mali po dapat maniwala tayo sa simbahan dahil ang simbahan po ang palasyo ng ating Diyos. <laughs> palasyo ng ating Diyos. 2 points, Mr. Mortera. Sige, paalala nyo yung mga yan, ha? Two points. Okay. Two points. Si Ariadna, four points. Sabi ni Yuri, no sir, kasi ang church ay katawan ni Kristo. One point. 
Sino pa ang sasagot? Ah, one point. Yuri. Okay. So, ang, ang tamang, ang sagot ganito, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na naniniwala tayo sa Diyos, ngunit hindi tayo naniniwala sa simbahan. Okay. Hindi pwedeng maghiwalay ang paniniwala natin sa Diyos at sa simbahan. Kung naniniwala tayo sa Diyos, naniniwala tayo sa simbahan, sapagkat sa simbahan ipinahayag ni Kristo lahat ng katotohanan tungkol sa Diyos. Si Kristo hindi yan magpapahayag sa maraming simbahan. Hindi sinabi niyang, o oh, dito sa kabila, dito sa kabila, dito sa kabila. Hindi. Hindi siya partial. Okay, full ang kanyang revelation. At Christ revealed the fullness of revelation to the church. Okay, to the church which he, which he founded. Okay, which He founded nung, nung yung tinatag niyang iglesia o simbahan. Tandaan niya, na? Okay. So, number four. Human leadership and of honesty and integrity. Okay. As Christians, we are called to be honest. You know the meaning of honesty na, integrity. Number five. We should be courageous to suffer and risk for the kingdom of God. So, um, we must not be afraid to die. We must not be afraid to suffer for the kingdom of God. Okay. We must not be afraid to to stand up for our faith. Hindi tayo dapat matakot sa na tumayo sa ating pananampalatayang Kristiyano. Number six, Communication skills needed to present Christ's challenge to the Filipinos in an attractive and persuasive manner. Uh, social media communication is very important. That's number six. Social media communication. Uh, if you want to transmit the words of God, if you want to transmit your Catholic faith, the best way to do so in this modern world is the social media communication. Amin yan. Kaya nga, I am giving you activities which are, which are done through social media because this is the best way we can do for now, especially that we are facing the pandemic. Okay. So, these are, those are the qualities of Christian witnesses. Okay? This, the, there, there are six qualities that we should ponder upon. Okay. Now, H for confirmation, page, lesson 15, page 232. We will not discuss this anymore because uh, the age of confirmation in our Archdiocese of Lingayan Dagupan, okay, is 12. Tandaan niya. You can only be confirmed at the age of 12. in the Archdiocese of Lingayen, Dagupa. However, there are uh, excuses and exemptions, like for example, when you have already received your first communion at the at, at when you are uh, already, you, re- you receive already your first communion by grade 4. No, grade 4 ka na na-receive mong first communion. After the first communion, communion, you may also receive the sacrament of confirmation. Pwede mo nang tanggapin ang sacrament of confirmation. Pero ideally, strictly speaking, technically, uh, we can only receive the sacrament of confirmation at the age of 12. At the age of 12. Okay, now, we go to page 234. Okay, itong page 234, lesson 16, basahin nyo na lang yan. No? You just read those, uh, the lesson. Is this clear? Basahin nyo na lang yung page 234, lesson 16. Okay. Page 237, madali na lang ito. Yung page 237, sino dapat yung mga godparents? Ngayon, ang tanong ko sa inyo, ano ang trabaho ng godparents? Ng ninong at ninang? May ninong at ninang ba kayo? Okay. Anong trabaho nila? Ano ang trabaho ng ninong? Para sa inyo, anong trabaho ng ninong at ninang? Bakit kailangan may ninong at ninang sa binyag at sa kumpil? Hmm? Bakit? What do you think is the reason? Sagot, oy. Jethro. Joaquin. Bakit kaya may ninong at ninang sa kumpil at sa binyag? Yes, Mr. Mia, for guidance. Uh, kindly uh, expand your answer. Kindly discuss it more. Why do, we, do you say that uh, godparents are for guidance? Sabi ni Mr. Flores, sila ang tumatayo bilang pangalawang magulang. Sub-parents, sabi ni Janine Corpus. <laughs> Sub-parents or second parents. Okay, very good, Mr. Cor- Ms. Corpus. Ano pa? Bakit may ninong at ninang? Okay, ganito yan. 
ay ang ninong at ninang ay hindi para tustusan tayo financially, no? Ang ninong at ninang they are there to stand with us in in uh, in the formation of our conscience. Okay, halimbawa ako nagninong ako sa kumpil, kailangan yung inaanak ko mabantayan ko 'yan. Okay, sa aspeto ng pananampalataya. Tuturuan ko siya, pagyayabungin ko yung pananampalataya niya, at kasama niya ako in her journey towards holiness. Kaya nga, ang ninong at ninang kailangan sufficiently mature person. That's the letter A. Number two, good living Catholic who, dim, who himself has been initiated in three sacraments which are baptism, confirmation, and holy eucharist. Kailangan na binyagan na yung ninong mo, ninang mo. Yung ninang ninang mo, hindi sugarul. Hindi porki kumanin ng nanay mo, kumanin ng tatay mo, kukunin ng kukunin na ninong at ninang. Hindi. Kailangan yung ninong at ninang mo uh, magagabay sa iyo sa paglaki mo. Gagabayan ka. Hindi mo siya magulang, hindi mo pwedeng ibigay yung pagmamagulang ng magulang mo sa kanya. Pero siya ay, siya ay pangalawang magulang. Ibig sabihin nito, pwede siyang tumulong sa sa moral at spiritual na aspeto ng buhay mo. Okay? Okay, letter C, page 238. Capable and truly uh, intends to help the newly baptized or confirmed to faithfully live up to all duties inherent in Christian life. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, di ba? Babantayan. Ang ninong at ninang is, are there to guide sabi ni Mr. Yuri kanina very good to guide no to guide uh, the child spiritually and morally okay so this is the full understanding of what the sacrament of confirmation is all about okay so as you can see oh, very obvious very obvious naman that we are uh, we are tackling one by one the seven sacraments we just had discussed sacrament of baptism last week And we just also discussed the sacrament of confirmation. Okay, that, end, that ends our lesson for today.